Um, hello everyone. In this episode, I'm going to show that the Nash bargaining solution satisfies uh, scale invariance. Because the proof is notation heavy, I decided to write it on board and then now I will go through it slowly. Okay, so uh, this is how we define the Nash bargaining rule, remember? It basically, uh, the argument that maximizes this multiplication. And let's remember what scale invariance was. So a rule, a bargaining rule is scale invariant if for any bargaining problem and for any uh, positive affine transformation, uh, remember this is a vector. Um, so when I uh, calculate the bargaining solution of this transformed uh, bargaining problem, well, it's going to give me the transformed Nash bargaining and uh, uh, transformed a solution of the original problem. Okay, so um, I'm going to show a direct proof. There's no contradiction or anything. Uh, but uh, again, as I said, it's notation heavy, so I'm going to go slowly. So remember, the scale invariance was a vector, right? So whenever you see lambda, it actually means you know, functions, but there are n functions, lambda 1 for player 1, lambda n for player, uh, player n. And in fact, it means for any uh, a real number, so lambda, <coughs> I'm sorry, for any uh, vector, so x is in Rn. So lambda x means, uh, so this is how we transform uh, a fine transform, positive affine transform, the first player's payoff first negotiator's payoff, a1 times x1 plus b1, and same for all other players, an times xn plus bn. However, we may multiply each player's payoffs with different ai and add or subtract uh, uh, different numbers from each player. But what matters is that each ai is positive and bi's are real numbers for each player. Okay, well, how do I write the Nash bargaining solution for the uh, scaled up or down, the transformed game? Well, the Nash bargaining solution of the transformed game is going to be written this way. So this is very important. It's again argmax. Well, this time the vectors, the payoff vectors are not coming from ISD, but they are coming from individually rational payoffs from the transformed bargaining problem, lambda s, lambda d. What else? The multiplication i from 1 to n, xi minus, so here I already transformed the payoff vectors, but I did not transform the, uh, uh, I still, I, I, I keep forgetting this uh, vector's name, the disagreement vector, and so I transform it. All right, so xi minus lambda i di, all right? Um, okay, good. Well, here we need to make a very important observation that basically comes from the concept of uh, transformation. So for any vector which is in, uh, you know, in the set, the individual irrational uh, payoff vectors in, this, in, the, in the transformed bargaining problem, um, or in fact in lambda s, doesn't matter, okay? So it doesn't have to be individual or rational, but this is true for any payoff vector in the transformed game. Well, there exists a payoff vector in the original game. I denoted y sub x, such that uh, x is in fact transformed version of y x, okay? All right, well, what does that mean? So x is a vector, remember x1, x2, up to xn. So that means we transform player 1's payoff, player 2's payoff, player 3's payoff. How do we transform them? This is exactly what we do. I'm basically rewriting this. So a1, y, x1, plus b, b1. And I do it for every player, a, n, a sub n, y, x, n, plus b, n, etc. So what I want to say is the following. For every payoff vector, there is going to be a unique, uh, well, yeah, it has to be unique because these are uh, sort of uh, linear uh, and positive affine transformations. So there's going to be a unique uh, a payoff vector in the original bargaining problem, and they're related, okay? 
And I want to note that this yx is not only coming from the bargaining problem itself, so it's not only feasible, but it's also individually rational. But this one is true if x is individually rational. All right, so if x is individually rational, well, then this yx, which satisfy this, should also be individually rational in the original problem. Well, why is that? Well, because if you remember, x is this. Uh, for each i, for each player i, a i times y x i plus b i, right? And it is, it satisfies individual rationality means uh, <clears throat> x i, so this is x i minus lambda d i, right? lambda i d i, which is this, a i d i plus b i. I transform not only the payoff vectors, but also the disagreement point. So this is positive right? This is what for every i. So this is what x is individual rational means. So b i's will cancel out. So it's going to be a i parenthesis y x i minus d i. So it's also positive because a i is positive. So this is why positive affine transformation is important. You can't transform it by multiplying with negative numbers, okay? So therefore, if x is individual or rational, y x that satisfies this must also be individual or rational in the original problem. Okay, so now uh, let's give a name to our Nash solution. Remember the Nash solution of the transformed game was this, and let's name it the payoff vector. I'm gonna call it x star. Okay, because it's important. And we know that just because of our argument here, there's going to be some uh, y x star. This is just a notation in the original i s d set, which satisfies this. Okay, so don't forget this because later I'm going to use it. All right, so what does that mean x star is in Nash solution? It means when I calculate this payoff, this multiplication, it's going to give us the highest uh, number. Okay, so let's write it. So it basically means uh, i from 1 to n, xi star minus lambda i di. Uh, this multiplication is going to be greater or equal to this multiplication for every x in the transformed game, in the individual or rational feasible payoffs. All right? Okay, so I opened them up. Remember, xi star was a i y x i star plus b i and lambda i d i means a i d i minus b. So these are transformed payoffs. And same for the other side, on, on the other hand of this inequality. Well, <clears throat> in this side of this inequality, what I can do, the b i's will cancel out. Um, uh, this is b i, I'm sorry, I forgot b i, uh, b i, b i. Um, so b i's will cancel out, same here, obviously. And then I can take them to, into AI parentheses. And similarly on the other side, AI and the, the BIs will cancel out. And again, these are all true for any X uh, among the set of individual, irrational, and feasible payoffs of the transformed bargaining problem. Well, what, furthermore, what I can do, so this is like, you know, A1 times Y X1 star minus D1 times A2 times whatever and so on, greater than or equal to a1 times uh, y x i minus d1, etc. So that means a1, so everything is multiplication on this left-hand side and on the right-hand side. So those a i's will actually cancel out for every i from 1 to n. So therefore, I can get rid of this a i. Okay, so what do I have? I have, so something very similar to this, right? So multiplication i from 1 to n, y x i star minus d is greater than or equal to this for any x in the transformed bargaining problem. But it, in fact, remember for every x, there exists y sub x. So therefore, if this is true for every x, it must be true for every y sub x. Uh, there's no i, I'm sorry, in the uh, set of individual irrational. And remember, this is, if x is individual irrational, y x is also individual irrational, thanks to these arguments. So what does that mean? That means, look, I have 
this y x star when I calculate this multiplication its value is greater than or equal to uh, this multiplication whenever they are calculated on other payoff vectors in the set of individual rational and feasible uh, set. So that means that y x star vector is in fact the arg max of this multiplication where y's are coming from the individual irrational feasible uh, payoff set of the original bargaining problem. All right, so what is this? Well, this is nothing but the Nash solution, right? By definition, it's the Nash solution of the original bargaining problem, and it is yx star, uh, which is what I just show. Well, what is yx star? Now I'm going to use this, remember? Huh. Well, yx star and x star, they are related. How so? Well, x star is lambda times yx star. So what is x star? x star, well, oh, let me write it here. I am done. I'm just going to put the uh, punctuation. So x star is nothing but the Nash solution of the transform game. All right? And I know that it's equal to x star is equal to lambda times y x star, right? And what is y x star? It is the Nash solution of the original game. So therefore, ignore x star, lambda x y x star. What I just show is that if you have a Nash solution of the transform game, it is in fact equal to transformed payoff of the Nash solution, which is exactly what I needed to show. Hence, this is true for any bargaining problem SD and for any positive affine transformation. Positive AIs are positive because otherwise they can't cancel out. Affine transformation BIs will be cancel out, remember? So for any lambda in, in, in capital lambda. And hence, N is... As does satisfy scale invariance. Okay, that's exactly how we prove that.